Okay, good morning, everyone. Good morning. This is uh, Michael Venezia. I am the head trader at TradeView Markets. Uh, we have a special guest to us today. Normally, 11 Eastern, we do a, uh, a video about what's going on in usual process in the markets. But today, you know what? I, I, was, I was thinking, let me, th let me digress for a second. I had a funny, I was thinking about something early this morning and somebody tweeted something. He said, you know, I'm, I used to run a $10 billion hedge fund and people used to take me out to dinners and, and fly me all over the place. And now, and, you know, to get his, to get his, uh, to get his business. And now basically he's, you know, trading a boutique fund and he's writing macro, a, a really great input on macro stories of what's going on in the markets. And he's putting on it for Twitter for free. And yet again, he's getting less out of it than he even thought he would put in. And my point being is today we're joined by uh, Daniel and he's, uh, he's with the CUB CUBOE. And in this, in this day and age, you have to be with 24 hour trading and, and news is as, as, as prevalent as it always is. You have to have as, as much of an edge, edge as you want. And that's broadening your horizons and being aware of what other financial instruments are out there. So before we get going, I'm going to welcome Danny and he's going to uh, briefly uh, tell us something about, uh, about any disclosures and, and what he does going forward. Danny, you there? Danny? Okay. Well, bottom line is, this is what uh, Danny had sent us, and it's important disclosures about, about the CBOE. And as I say before, with TradeGate Hub, give me a second, we'll sign in. And like I said, I sign in just like everybody else. Uh, Go back to the YouTube channel, our YouTube channel, and it's always at the top right here. And pause. You know, this is on a daily basis. Coach and I do a couple of a couple of days, so pause that and go over the disclaimer and make sure this you can see it with the screen. And go over this disclaimer here and pause it. And this is just to basically tell you well what's going on and uh, what what the product is about. It's basically the fine print. And the fine print is about anything. It's, it could, could be about uh, it could be about buying IBM. It could be buying a, a house. It could be buying you know whatever instrument is out there. It's basically up to us to do that. So there we are, right there. And that's a disclaimer about what's going on to CBOE. So like I said again, uh, I'm going to sign into TradeGate Hub, and here we are on TradeGate Hub this morning. This is the process I I do every day, and. I said that every day we have to uh, go through a routine because that's most important. But getting back to what we're offering today with Danny, it's he's like I said, I was I was asked about a month ago from the the, the CEO of, of TradeView to do to do something. And it was basically how to deal with FX. And I didn't have an answer on how to trade a major financial instrument. And it, it really got it really got me thinking that. Uh, a, I was, I don't want to be dramatic because I, I think that I have my greater acumen in another way and it pays off, but it's something that I should have known the answer to. And we're going to talk today more about the VIX and the VIX is a product that, like I said, a couple, I'll give you a couple of cliches and trading to a degree is I don't want to throw out cliches, but it's very relevant here. And, you know, like I say, it's, it's not just all trading is not all empirical or else there'd be just a couple of algorithms here. And you know, it would just be one, everybody would be vying for the same, for the same book and putting everything towards that money, but it's not. Trading is also psychological. And when it comes to all instruments, you have to be aware of what's going on. So I was, I learned what was going on. And when Danny's here, he's going to tell us what's going on with the VIX. The VIX is a product that it's, it's a, it's a very enigmatic product. It's almost like that model in the corner of the room that everybody is afraid to talk to just because it's intimidating. And by the way, the VIX may be intimidating and it could work in our direction. Yeah. And it's good because, hello? Hey, Mike, it's me. I was, I, I was having some uh, technical difficulties. No, that's okay. That's okay, Danny. My, let me, can I continue? Yeah, I keep going. I love it. Hold on a second, please. Before we keep going, most importantly, are we, are we okay with the disclaimer that I said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We scrolled through that and just, you know, just adds up to everybody too. Like, my views are for myself and not, I'm not speaking on behalf of uh, SIBO. So that's just- No, I can, I appreciate that. Yeah. We appreciate that as well. By the way, as I say to all the other, to all our followers that 
you know, the, the YouTube channel is probably even more, it, 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 even worth more than the live stream, just because it does a bunch of things. First of all, it gives us a track record where coach and I are on at least a half an hour a day for some time now. So, and as you can go in chronological order, we're not, we're not the delete types. I don't even know why I'm going to apologize for that. But and go back to what Danny said with, with the disclaimer so we can get forward and talking about what's going on. So what I said is Danny's here because even with 24 hour trading, this is the this is uh, this is the time and day where and day and age where you need edge and you need here. You need every opportunity you get. I mean, the futures were up 70 handles this morning. They were up 40 in this particular day. They were up between 38 and 40 handles this morning. So if you're short and certainly everybody knows here, I'm considered one of those pajama traders. And that's because I want to because not because I I have to. It's because I want to. I'm generally, generally interested to see what was going to happen this morning. And maybe, it, you know, it doesn't really make, you know, deplete me in terms of uh, uh, in my production at all, or else I get more sleep, but you do hear me yawn intermittently. But the most important thing is this day and age is when, like I said, with, with this hedge fund manager, we're very privileged to have Danny here because now you're getting directors and head guys here that are trying to bring us and, and tell us what this product to do. This isn't a representative. You're having personal attention these days, just like me, myself and Dale, traders of 25 and 30 plus years who are on TradeGate Hub for free because we have an end game here. We want to get people to go in there and join us. And, and you know, like I said, it's the majority of stocks we trade, trade 20, 20 and 25 million a day. The VIX futures we're talking right now have traded between 6,000 and 8,000 contracts a day. So we're bringing you liquid products that you need to know about to have an edge, whether you use it or not. So Danny, what can you tell us here? Thank you. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, look, I mean, I mean, I even went up here there. I mean, our ADV index this year has been 285,000 plus a day. So it's obviously a very liquid product. And you, know, you talked about the 24 hour market and, and like I've been there, you know, just to give you a little recap of the world I came from before I came to the exchange, I was a trader, started on the floor of the board of trade, um, went upstairs to trade on the screen, basically 23 hours a day, like yourself trading in my pajamas. So I get it. Um, and there's, when the markets are always open, I mean, I think I look at VIX futures as something that you can either hedge with, or you can, you know, it helps you limit your exposure to these volatile markets that we're in right now. I mean, I, you know, when we talked yesterday, we talked about, you know, we went through what's going on in the market and it's, it's not just about that. I mean, the markets are moving. And it's something we've seen. It's all you want as a trader, right? And, and if you talk about VIX futures, it's in backwardation right now. What is that? Like, it's been like that for three weeks. It hardly ever happens. It's usually in contango, which means when it's in contango, the prices are lower on the front end of the term structure as opposed to the back end. We're now we're in reverse there. And that's signaling. What is it signaling? We're, it's a volatile market, right? I mean, we've got a stew of stuff going on between... Ukraine, the Fed, you know, inflationary data. I mean, you look at gold prices, how high they are. I mean, oil, there's a lot going on and it's exactly what we want as traders for the markets to move. So when you think about VIX futures, you know, we've got a big and a mini, but so it doesn't, it doesn't discriminate on the type of investor you are. You can trade it and hedge it with almost everything, whether it's for insurance, if you think, if you're a little worried about a certain position you have on, and you want to get long because vol's kind of low right now, but you think we might be heading into some murky waters, you know, you can put it on as a head on the long side or or trade on the on the vol side to, to sell vol. But it's it really is like one of those products that with everything going on and people scratching their head, you most of the time when the VIX is trading, if it's if it's going up, you know, if you look at the markets, SPs are going down. You know, look at the day like today, spoos are up. VIX is down, you know, so it's one of those trades that like you can either use as an indicator to have up on your screen to look at or trade and be a little bit more precise with your hedging, depending on what you want to do. If you want to go with the mini since it's a smaller product and scale into those positions. So, I mean, it, it really is. I get excited about it because we're finally been waiting about for these times of volatility. And this is when products like this come into play to help out. Right. What, you know what? It's like I said be, before, Danny, it's, it's a very like I said, it's on everybody's screen. And by the way, yeah. this is my universe that everybody knows. Yeah. I'm going to make sure I'm sharing properly. Uh, and I have the VIX and I also have I mean, I have the VIX as the, as the tradable product mm -hmm. and I have the VIX uh, 
as the, the yeah. index, if you will, or the yeah. gauge. Let me just put a couple of things here because I prepared uh, for what we trade now is the VIX futures. Yeah. And it's a product and that's offered 24, 24, 7, 24, 7, Danny? Yeah. It is. Okay. So here's a product on the VIX. We have the, product, this, yeah. I mean, with the, VIX, not, the VXM, correct? Yeah. Uh, VXM is the mini, right. VXM is the minis and that's the March contract. As I said before, if I want to train, uh, trade, uh, co change contracts, I will just go to futures here and I'll change to April's, for example. And those are April's. And by the way, when it comes to the VIX, like I said, it's it's almost like the model in the room that no one talks to. But once you say hello, she's friendly. You know what I mean? Right, right. So uh, she says no one ever talks to me. But it's it's something when you get to know when you trade it, it's a good product. And I yeah. do trade it and everybody has it on their screen. And uh, I see that the VIX, these are the the, the, the major contract that these have traded 28,600 contracts today, correct? Correct. That's and this big, is yeah. also, and these are for both for March. So as you can see, I mean, these are extremely liquid products. And the way I would use it is it's not, first of all, a, a, a misconception, and I will say this uh, as, a, as a trader, is that the VIX is a way more technical of a product than people would like to think. I wouldn't be, be and this is my opinion, by the way, I wouldn't be generally, generally trading it on, on, on technicals alone. But I do, I mean, if you can see, it does have a lot of, a lot of resistance and support points, mm -hmm. almost channels, if you will. Uh, and I'm certainly not, you know, all I know is I know that when I trade, I like to, I trade the VIX in, in basically a day trade or an overnight, an overnight situation because the minis are such a liquid, a liquid entity. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anything uh, else? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no, Mike, and I mean, and, and I, I feel like you said it right there too, it's one of those trades too that, that you're going to want to, with the way with the way stocks are moving right now, I mean, swinging around the way they are, you, it is for for day traders and and a lot of your clients a product that they can get in and out of easily with how liquid it is. I mean, and it depends on the risk cap thing. You want to trade the bigs, it's fifty bucks a tick. You want to trade the the minis, it's five bucks a tick, and it's it's to each their own, right? But but it's just it's just a different situation. You know, whether you trade the front end of the curve, the the VIX curve or the back end, you know, as, as you as you go farther out, it's a little bit less liquid um, in terms of like volume. You, know, you can just see how, how it trades in the front months, but you can still you can still take a take a bet on some of those back ends to see if you want to, um, depending on where the market's going to be. Um, so, but but it really is. I mean, the, the liquidity of the products there. That's what you want, right? I mean, I think Absolutely. no, no, no. Market, well, it's it's it's. Listen, the bottom line is. It's going to happen sooner or later. It's happening now. So we want, just like everybody at TradeView, we want everybody to be prepared. You know, when the volatility comes in, you don't want to be like, oh, maybe I should learn a different product. That's where I said at the beginning, where I made a mistake and tried to grow a little bit. So it's a perfect time now being that the, the, the volatility is, is, is spiking again. And by the way, even judging by the VIX, the long-term chart on the, the VIX entity itself, this still, I mean... It's, say, we're still we've been elevated yeah. for some time and let's go yeah. back to, for maybe like a year right. i mean so this is nothing new right. so it, definitely when there's volatility and as every type of trader wants and anybody from a, a person that likes to take money out of the market every day like myself it's a, it's a very very liquid and, and viable entity and somebody that may maybe want to hedge and by the way because i do think it is more of a technically technically driven product to a degree then you could it's it's easy more for you to you know to place your you know to place your uh, your bids or, or your asks if you will correct Dan correct okay uh, another thing the uh, the majority of VIX futures do they go out what six months well the the the, the minis uh, go out six months and then we've got more listed on the bigs you know as far as fifty three but it's not you know we've got I think right now I get pulled up it's liquid all the way out to, um, right. Yeah, 24 months on, okay. on the bigs. But like I said, the front the front part of the curve is where it's most liquid. And then like any futures product, you're, you you got to be sensitive to, uh, as months expire and, and, and everything like that. So it's it's you do get to watch it, but it is everybody sees the markets differently. And, and Mike, you and I were talking about this yesterday. It's 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 not you can't point and you know back in the day when I was just trading at a great group here in Chicago and uh, you know. Every guy looks at the markets differently. I think that's, that, that's why I hate to like somebody like, hey, what, what do you have on today, Dan? I was like, well, this is what I have. But like, this is, you look at the, the markets the way you want to look at it. You know, and that's, 
something like VIX too. Like, well, but what I love about VIX is again, it's, it's a liquid simple. product. Just like you yeah. said, everybody yeah. has a point of view. Yeah. Yeah. By the by, the VIX being so liquid, that is pe- people's basic point of view, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. If it, if, if people weren't sure that it would be a lot more, and, and didn't want to touch it, it would be a lot more illiquid. Right. Like I said, this is a long term chart on the VIX, and it correlates to the VIX futures, by the way. And like I said, it's a lot more technically driven, and it's a product that I trade. Like I said, this has been my everybody here go back to the TGH videos. Not that I'm looking for any edification. This is my this is my financial instrument universe here, and that's not changed for a quarter century. I'm being dead literal. Maybe <laughs> TLT goes to TBT, maybe VIX goes to VXN, yeah. but it's always on my screen. And by the way, like I said, in this day and age, at least if you're not aware, I mean, we offer, we right now in both, uh, we we're, TradeView is able to get traders uh, a platform eventually. We're going to be able to, uh, there, there are a lot of tra- tradable products on TradeView's platform right now, but they're not included on our demo. So uh, you contact on our team and I'll let everybody know how to get it. I definitely suge- suggest trading on a demo. I will, if there's any questions, uh, and, you know, get to me back on, on TGH. And I'll let you know how my progress is doing. I'm certainly going to ask a couple of my peers. I'm going to speak to Danny afterwards about anything that we could help go anybody uh, help going on afterwards. Uh, we have a question here, if you don't mind, Danny. Which VIX yeah, product? Sure. Which which VIX products have the least decay? Well, I mean, like the the, the, the short. I mean, if you time decay. I mean, if, you, if you're talking about that, I mean, it's it's you wanna you wanna start with um, if you're trading like the short end. Obviously, those are going to start to decay faster towards expiration so but you also got to be sensitive to if you're trading farther out you're really taking a bet on what you think is going to happen uh in the market in general right so i mean it's it, 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 it could be right it could be wrong but it's it's you have to be sensitive to what's happening i mean i myself like to kind of focus on like the belly of any curve like so maybe absolutely three, three months out. i mean it's, it's kind of nice and, and kind of something what you said like about throwing it up on your screen. I think that like, it's important to have, like even back in the day when I was trading overnight in Europe, like I didn't trade the boom, but you better believe I had it up on my screen to watch when things happen. And you better believe with what's going on in Ukraine and around the world globally, well, to have VIX up on your screen at night when you're trading or band, oh, Danny. no matter what day it is, it's, it's good to have up there. No, I, I, I look at Ox. I appreciate that. And that's because I had them up on my screen. And the reason why I took maybe a couple indexes off, meaning made a couple of European ones outside of a macro quote, is because I wasn't able to trade them. But yeah. you know what? It's the only product on my screen that I, that I don't trade. And it would be almost hypocritical for having me have a product on my tr- a screen that I don't trade and it's available to trade. Yeah. So getting back to it, I am going to trade it. And it's because, not because, Uh, I want to because I have to as a professional and I just have to be well versed and dip my toe in. And it's a product that I know very well, but it's something just like any financial instrument, something you have to, you know, you know, I started dipping my toe in options a little bit more. I I think I'm at maybe a higher level, if you will, if I digress on options, as every follower would know, but it's, it's going to be the same learning curve with the VIX. And once you get, I mean, the thing moves. And there's an opportunity there, especially with with all, especially with these gamma squeezes going on option wise yep. on these Fridays. This is even more prevalent of a mover and something that you should even even I don't want to say, listen, you have to be able to trade your style in a certain financial instrument. But if you want to trade the VIX and futures, certainly, no, you know, don't be shy and it's mover, but you have to focus on it. So, you know what I mean, Danny? Right. Yep. No. And I, I, we said right there, like we used to say in a trading group, like, you know, what are you trading? You're like, well, what's moving to you? You know, and that's all I say. Like my mom, my mom still doesn't even know what I do. But if the market's <laughs> volatile, she knows what she knows. I'm doing well. Right, right. You know what I mean? Hundred percent. Okay. This is great, Mike. Any other questions, guys? What's the? Uh, appreciate that. Uh, the, the the from uh, our head of equities. What what's the margin requirements for the VIX big and 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 small minis? You know, I'll send those out for you, uh, uh, Mike. It changes with with. Thanks, Mike. Uh, depending on where you are, farther out. So I'll I'll, I'll send kick those out to you guys. All the. The, I don't want to bore everybody with with the fees and everything like that, but you can pass those along to your users. And then maybe as things go on, I mean, look, this market's going to stay hot for a while now with what's going on um, across the board. So maybe jump back on. We can get in the weeds again uh, more next time. But this has been great. It has been great, by the way. We're getting questions from guys that are on our level. Uh, another one from Coach. 
what's your yours and market participants favorite instrument to short volatility and that's you being as a trader off the record if you will yeah well yeah i can't get, really get into the, in the into that too much just because i do have i i still hit, am here at SIBO, so i can't coach I'll, I'll talk to you about that off the record uh, off camera if that's okay coach read the disclaimer no, Molly, you know, <laughs> no, but I understand that. We'll talk, like I said, we're going to speak about some questions after, and that's yeah, yeah. Coach, when I'm out in New York, I think you're out in New York. I'd love to have a beer with you and, and talk about it then. Yeah, coaches have forgotten more than some people have seen. We're lucky to have them on. Yeah. Uh, anything else, Mike? Ella, was that good? The margin requirements, we'll get that to you over. Yep. Uh, any other questions, guys? Because we're this is Dan. I mean, this is the guy. No, I'll, I'll be back on, Mike. I mean, if people can, and I, you know, I'll uh, give access to my email too, please. Reach out at any time. I mean, one thing us here at SIBO, we, we are very collaborative with all of our customers and clients. I mean, you guys have been great, Tribute Markets. I mean, this show, I mean, I'm going to pass it along. I'm, I was up late last night answering some little questions you guys had. And next to my wife's like sitting next to me, like, what are you doing? I was like, oh, there's a, there's a, uh, a vote going on. What, what, what's the Fed going to do next week? Is it a quarter point, half point? I, you know, you guys do a great job with, uh, putting things out. There, well, I appreciate so. that. And the more, season, and, and like we said, we weren't short of conversation after we just gave a little brief dossier of our background and same with <laughs> coach and, and even Mike Gell and most Tim, Tim notable and most people here. So we appreciate you going on there. You know what? And there's awesome. the, there's the chart of the Vic. You know, the, these are the Vix futures of uh, VXM and VIX. Uh, anybody has any questions, please ask me at trade gate hub. We're going to have the answers to the margin requirements for the Vix to Mike Gell ask and, also, any other intricate questions that I, you know what, that I'll speak to Danny after. And I actually am allowed to give my opinion. So we'll get the, uh, oh, hold on a second. And one more question, Danny. Sorry. Yeah. VXX ETF is a perennial short. Can you talk about how the e VIX ETF is con constructed? That's something that you guys would have to, I'll, 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 that's, that, I'll send that along to you. Yeah, no, I understand. It's basically, yeah. I, I, I actually have the answers, but maybe we'll pause yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, it's almost like earmuffs. Uh, can Danny speak to what the VIC represents in terms of S and P percentage moves? Yeah, I mean we can we can get into the weeds, I and mean, that, but again, that's something that that I think. Right okay, now. well, you know what, Danny said he's going to be back on, so we didn't yeah, give away. We're lucky to have him back on. And these are slides too that like that'd be good too with things like that, Mike. That I'll I'll come with, and then um, we can pop them up there. Look again, we're, we're viable. I mean, like you said it before, like, VIX is still above thirty with. The spoo's up 95, you know, I mean, it's not, I mean, this isn't going away, these stories and, and with where we are across a lot of different products. I mean, it's a stew of, of stuff that is making the market good to trade. So that's all we want as traders. Uh, we have one more question. Can anyone tell me how much money you make out of the markets? We make millions. You want to see, you want to see, <laughs> you want to see a picture of my house, Joba? Uh, you can't, no disrespect, but I mean, come on. Joe, but we've been trying to help you. So Danny, yeah. another one. Uh, so like I said, we're happy to have you on. We're happy. We would love to have yeah. you back on because you know what? Just like Jason, J Jason's been saying on our, on our, on our, uh, on our equity and futures desk, the, the, de the time definitely now, and nobody's saying you got to dip your, you know, jump in with both feet at the very least get a demo because the volatility and what's going being on geopolitically. And by the way, even, even domestically when it's coming to rates, this is the talk. Listen, it's you know what's even even better with the product. It, it's moving. So any right. I don't care if it's gold, silver. The VIX products and VIX futures are moving. So learn how a financial instrument trades. It'll help you as a better trader in general. So we'll leave it yeah. at there. Yeah, it's a good point. Well, thanks a lot, Mike. Okay, it's a great pleasure, guys. Danny, we'll see you again, and we'll trade gate up tomorrow. Today is Wednesday. I'll see everybody back uh, Friday at eleven Eastern. Coach will be on tomorrow at nine thirty. Uh, cheers, everyone, and have a good day. Always have a plan, and thanks again. Cheers, guys. Thanks.